guess for the players, it's been kind of a tough season for you guys up and down, but what does a win like this at home gets a really good Evansville team green for you to build some confidence? I guess it's got to be huge for you guys. Well, you know, uh, like you said, we have our ups and downs, but we just stick together. Uh, we say brotherhood after almost every huddle for a reason, and because we believe that we always stick together. We knew that we're going to play our best basketball coming up soon, and we've been doing that. And it means a lot because we know that it shows that we know that we can play together and play strong, and we've been doing that so far. You know, I think it's just since day one, our, always, our mile's always been win the day, win the day. Don't worry about what's happened in the past, next play, you know, next game or whatever. But our best basketball is truly going to come in February, and it's showed in the last two games. How's it showed? I mean, you guys had a big win at Bradley um, Wednesday and kind of built on that. Where have you guys felt like you've improved and kind of, kind of grown as a team? Well, I think it's uh, shown because we're starting to trust each other more on both ends of the floor, both defensively and offensively. We listen to, to the game plan, and we try to execute it the best we can. And then we just keep playing together and trust each other. I think sky's the limit. Yeah, I think our defense has really bit improved in the last games too. Just playing the whole possession out as, as hard as we can, taking every possession like it's our last, and then finishing it out with a box out. And then that kind of leads into our offense. And we just play with a lot of confidence and see what happens. What was, what was kind of key in the last seven, eight minutes there? I think you guys obviously led for most of the first half. And those Evans will have the run, kind of came back, and, and maybe that, that that's a, a tough situation for some teams to come back from. So you guys weren't really blown by it. What was the key kind of coming back and kind of finishing strong today? No, yeah, we just had a, a no quit attitude today. Uh, from the start of the game, we was ready to go, every guy. Um, and we just, we didn't want to let all the work we did in the first half go to waste. We just kept sticking together. We just kept saying, okay, we're going to get it this stop. We're going to get a good shot at the other end. Just keep playing for each other and play tough. Yeah, I mean, like you said, they made their run, and we knew that it was their run was over, and we kind of st stuck together and said, hey, now let's make our run. So we stuck together, started on defense, got a few stops, and then a few couple of big shots by a bunch, bunch of our guys, and, and we made our run and it, uh, stayed throughout the rest of the game. I guess Valentin came in as the I think NBC's league scorer, as the league scorer last year and this year. What was kind of key for you to kind of, seem like you were constantly stuck to him, like glue. What was the key to kind of um, shutting him down and kind of keeping him from getting his touches or, or at least the touches? Oh, he's a great player, and we all know that. The whole valley knows that. And I just knew that I just needed to play the best I could defense on him because that's what the team needed. The team asked me to play as hard as I could on the defensive end on him, and I just wanted to do whatever I can to help the team, and I did that tonight. Is there anything else for the players? Or... being a little bit humble there. He, uh, I mean, he did an amazing job. And, um, you know, where he played each possession like it was his last. And when he needed a break, he would pull on his jersey and we'd try to get him a break. But, I mean, Ballantyne hits those last two threes in the last 30 seconds of the game where he has 11. And, you know, Carl holds him to I mean, one field in the first half. Um, we were going to do one thing a little bit different where most times you trail screens. We were going to give him the option to shortcut the screens. And so our bigs had to be a little bit, give him a gap to cheat it, because on those tight curls, if you help up, they throw right to those bigs. And so he was being a little humble um, and probably didn't want to give the game plan away. But <laughs> we gave him the option of trailing. But 60% of the time, we wanted him to shoot the gap to try to meet him. Um, and, and he mixed it up and did a really good job. What does a win like this mean for you guys? I mean, you guys obviously had the win at Bradley and maybe a break to win for you guys in the road and to come in, come in and build on this against a problem yeah. of Valley's best you know, teams. It, it doesn't matter, you know, what kind of season you have. You, you try to get better as you go along. And whether you're... 16 and 6 like Evansville everybody's trying to play their best basketball in February it's funny listen to these guys talk 
they're saying the exact same things we're trying to get across to them. So they're listening, and um, it it means a lot. More so though, the win is one thing, but the last two nights we should be exhausted when you go to bed at night, and I'd be more happy just obviously winning, but if they had done, gave the same effort both nights and we had gotten beat one of the nights, so be it. We, we, we hadn't got to the point yet where we were been exhausted and each possession defensively means that much. And in our game at this level, you better be able to guard people and rebound. Um, and biggest play of the night, in my opinion, was Carl Madison diving on loose ball. I mean, we were just last Sunday at Wichita. They made every hustle play, every 50-50 play. I'm not talking about talent, just talking about what each man can do. Wouldn't matter if it's you or me. I mean, I can be the first one, you can be the first one on the floor for a loose ball. Understand when somebody's left their feet and you're gonna take a charge, step back and be tougher than somebody boxing out. And that's what this team has gotten better at as we've gone along, is the toughness things and just how hard you have to compete before anything else. And so that's what I'm, Proud of them about. You mentioned toughness. How big was the mental toughness? I mean, you guys also led a halftime led the second half. They make their run, then they're up, I think, six or seven, and then this crowd got kind of quiet. Yeah, but no. what was the key to kind of using that mental toughness? Just to kept it? telling them it's one possession at a time, one at a time, get the next stop. And I think instead of just listening, they're, they're trying to do those things now. And you know what? Those freshmen are starting to grow up a little bit. I mean, they're not freshmen anymore. Reed had 18. Corey Kutzling <laughs> was his best effort. I mean, he, uh, the big kid, the Lithuanian, is as good as any other big in the league. And I mean, he leads the league in double doubles, you know. And, and Corey has six rebounds and four points, plays really good defense. I mean, he was a guy that should be playing high school basketball this year. He's a year young. But I mean, they're starting to grow up a little bit. Ori and CJ. Ori's made great progress since Christmas. So. You know, they're starting to grow up, and those seniors are starting to lead like seniors. And yeah, let's see. The month of February is here now, and and see if we can find our best basketball. You you talked about Corson for both. I mean, then he had the foul trouble there. How big was it to get Endemol back and kind of get him to get a couple? It seemed like there were a couple of crucial buckets to kind of get yeah. you guys on that run. There. Yeah, no, he he made some nice plays down the stretch, and and you know what? That's a credit to him because he had a tough night. He had a really tough night. And so for him to, to be able to keep digging and keep digging and, and to where the, the tough first half doesn't carry over into the second half, that shows some growth and maturity that he's made. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations.